Happy New Year and welcome back for another video. My name is Caitlin and today we are making a pot roast, but not a normal pot roast. So today we are using, a, at World Market, I bought some Burberry seasoning, which is, which is an Ethiopian spice blend. I will link a video by Marcus Samuelson down in the description, which tells you a little bit more about it. And we'll be using that Burberry seasoning to season our roast. Alright, so comment down below uh, if you guys have a favorite cozy time meal because this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, and remember while you're down there commenting to like and subscribe. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so in front of me I have two pounds of top brown roast or about two pounds. Um, you can always do with less. And I'm just going to gently sprinkle a healthy portion of the Burberry seasoning over top and pat it on. We're gonna toss it to the other side and do the same thing. And then we're gonna use what's left on our cutting board to go around the edges. You wanna make sure that roast is very well covered, so. And I use all the little cracks in the roast to scoop up the Burberry seasoning from the cutting board. And this is about what it should look like when it's done. And yes, your hands will get totally messy doing this. So the next thing I'm going to do is in an empty crock pot, I'm going to put uh, two potatoes that I have diced into eighths and then, or cut into eighths. And after that, you're going to want to add, I put like six or seven carrots in there. I really forget how many at this point, but then I just cut them in half. I peeled them and cut them in half. And that's going to be the, uh, the vegetables and the starch, so that way your roast can sit on them. They will cook a little faster on the bottom where the heat is, and your roast will slowly cook on the top. So our next step is to put the roast on. We're going to lower him down there. There we go. And he fits in great. And then after that we can take, I have a medium onion that I've just diced, and I'm just going to layer that on top. And I also have two cloves of garlic that I just cut in half, so that way they can kind of sit on there as well. After everything's in, you also want to give it a good twist with some sea salt. Everything needs a little salt and a little bit of black pepper as well. And there we go. Now this gets plugged in, set on high, and in about three, three and a half hours, we can check it. All right, so the roast is still cooking, but I want to take a, uh, a couple seconds out of this video to talk to you guys about the direction the channel is going to take in the new year. So first off, I'd love to hear your ideas about recipe ideas that you have, you know, dessert ideas that you have, things that you want to see done on this channel. If you've got any ideas, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. So the plan I have going forward is still to do videos on Fridays, and the first Friday of our month will be a meat option, a meat dish. Super easy, super fun to prepare, just in and out, you know, it might be a crock pot thing, it might be more of an oven thing. So the second Friday of every month, I'd love to do a vegetarian or a vegan dish. Um, once again, I can't have dairy, so anything, you know, that it has cheese, I have to sub out, or butter or dairy products already have to sub out, so we end up doing a couple of vegan dishes a week at this point, um, whether intentionally or unintentionally. So I'd love to start really diving into that and we want to be a little bit healthier in the new year, so that's kind of the direction I'd like this channel to go, is a meat on the first Friday, a vegetarian or vegan on the second Friday, and then I would love to get out of the kitchen every now and then. Um, so as I was just talking about, health is a big thing. Uh, with all the cookies we've been eating, the third Friday, I'm going to be doing a healthy snack, but I'm going to be switching it up. Because I live in the Pacific Northwest, we have so many awesome hiking opportunities and trails around here. And I would love to get out of the kitchen and show you guys around the area a little bit. I know I haven't really had enough time to explore as much as I'd like, and this is a good way to kind of bridge the gap between both worlds. I will still have a recipe included in every video, but it will be a little bit of a trail hike, break, recipe, healthy snack option, I'll eat the healthy snack option, and then we'll continue and you get to see the awesome payout view that I will be hiking up for. So week four, or Friday number four of the month, I am going to be doing a dessert option. We've been having so many desserts lately, I've decided to cut it back down to just one, one week a month. That way, you know, we can focus on healthier dishes 
And then some months there is a fifth Friday and I really don't know what I'll be doing with them. Um, it, that's why I'm asking you guys for options for things that you guys want to see on my channel because I would love to know and have some input from you. Uh, you guys are kind enough to watch my videos so I should be kind enough to uh, respond back and tailor it to the things that you guys want to see. So that's the kind of plan I'm thinking of for the next couple months, um, at least maybe up through June, July, we'll see. Um, so if that's the kind of content that you guys are interested in, leave a like. I'd love to see, make sure that this is something that you guys want to do as well as me. So anyway, back to the video. Alright, so it's been three and a half hours and our roast is done, so let's get it out of the crock pot. See if it can come out in one piece. Oh look, it does. That's so nice. <laughs> All right, so let's cut it and see how it's looking inside. Not that I think I need a knife that th is this uh, sharp for it. It's been in there for a bit and it looks pretty good. when it hits your tongue, but because it's just on the outside of the roast, it really doesn't affect, you know, long term. So that spiciness doesn't really sit on the back of your throat that much. It's a nice change up from a traditional roast that you may be used to without being, you know, a super crazy recipe. It's a very affordable, very, you know, reasonable and easy to find spice one that can really take a traditional English roast and elevate it so much higher. So I really hope you enjoyed this recipe today. Um, I look forward to presenting more. We're doing, we're doing a vegan recipe or vegetarian recipe uh, next week and I look forward to seeing you then. Bye!